Trying to do a vlog right when you wake up is not the easiest thing to do. All right, I uh, hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Today it is now December 1st, so that means advent calendar time. So this year for the advent calendars, we're doing three of them. Uh, my mom helped out uh, getting some of these as well. So um, the first one is the Lego uh, Star Wars advent calendar. 24 days, uh, 24 minifigures or um, like little ships and uh, props and stuff from Star Wars. And this one's cool because it has Mandalorian stuff. You can probably tell from the ship in the back too. Uh, but then I want to keep it Disney themed uh, for the next two. So this is a Disney uh, advent calendar um, storybook type thing. Uh, each day has a little story uh, based on different Disney characters. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that one. And the last one over here has to do with, this one actually has 25, which is really cool. Um, it has puzzles for each day. And I love my, uh, I love my puzzles, so uh, I thought this one was really cool. And the 25th one, it's kind of hard to see, but it's actually on the bottom. It takes up Goofy's, I want to say both, yeah, both boots it looks like, and the bottom of the snowman that he's working on. Uh, it's a little bit wider than the rest of them, so I'm guessing that's a bigger puzzle. Uh, we'll find out when we're working on it, though. First one is Star Wars. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it. There. Got ourselves a little, whoop, it's a little uh, top heavy there. Um, yeah, it's the Mandalorian ship. I'm kind of surprised we got that one, our first one, but you know, I'll take it. That's awesome. Love this one. Let's, let's tackle the festive countdown with 24 books. Oh, that's colorful. So where is this number? One, gotcha. Let's come right out here. I'll we'll probably open that up too. Oh, what's this? Oh, cats, an aristocratic Christmas. All right. Oh, this is a this is an actual book. <laughs> it's a short novel. Okay. A heavy snowstorm has blanketed Paris. In the morning sun, the city's walls and towers sparkled like icing on a cake. Duchess sat on the windowsill, gazing at the magical scene. Look, O'Malley, we're going to have a white Christmas. I really like the artwork. Really smooth. O'Malley, who was dozing in the velvet chair, sat up, turned toward Duchess, and said, Well, how about that, Princess? Snow makes Christmas even more special, said Duchess. Sure is pretty, but, said O'Malley, winter can get pretty cold and... Food is in short supply. The very thought brought his spirits down. O'Malley was happy living in Madame Bonifili's luxurious mansion with his beloved Duchess and her three talented kittens, Brilios, Tolos, and Marie. I say Tolhouse? <laughs> Toulouse and Marie. Tolhouse. It's not a cookie. Madame pampered them with fine foods and soft cushions and rides in her elegant coach. But sometimes O'Malley missed his old friends from the alleys and often felt guilty that he was warm and well-fed while others still scavenged in trash cans for scraps of food. Today, Madame is decorating for Christmas, said Duchess. Wait till you see what's coming. You'll get excited, too. O'Malley thought over how he could see his friends during the holidays. Preparations were indeed exciting, especially for the kittens, who stayed in the midst of all the bustle, crackling the tissue paper, unrolling spoons of ribbon, and swinging from the branches of the immense Christmas tree. That sounds like Jack. Yep, that looks like Jack, too. Madame smiled patiently at their antics. Have your fun now, my little dears. With everything is, when everything is ready, you must behave yourselves. By Christmas Eve, the whole house glittered with festive cheer. In the drawing room near the grand piano, a Christmas tree nearly touched the arch ceiling. 
It bore every kind of shiny ornament. Golden birds and butterflies, moons and stars. Moons, well, there's more than one. Uh, glass globes and flowers, golden tinsel swathed the branches and the tip of each a candle flickered. That is a fire hazard waiting to happen. See, said Duchess to O'Malley, isn't Christmas magnificent? Sure, Duchess, he said, but isn't Christmas fun, said Duchess? Come see Madame wrapping her gifts. You'll never see such packages. Duchess led him to the study where Madame was trying a yellow bowl, tying a yellow bowl on her final package, one with an enormous pile. There, said Madame, we're finally ready for Christmas. Then Duchess led O'Malley down the hallway, and that's not all, said Duchess. I'll show you the best part. As they entered the kitchen, a host of heavenly smells prickled O'Malley's nose. Spicy puddings, apple tarts, roast goose. Um, said O'Malley, this could be the best part. What do you mean, could be, asked Duchess. O'Malley said nothing, but grinned for the first time all day. The next day brought a flurry of unwrapping. As guests brought gifts poured in and out of the mansion, Madame made her great pile of discarded wrappings and let Berlioz, Toulouse, and Marie dance through them until the kittens were worn out. When all the guests left, Madame brought out three more packages that she and she had set aside. These brightly colored bundles were gifts for the kittens. Toulouse got a new set of paints. Oh, I, I remember that. He made a mess with the paints in the movie. Brilio some new sheet music, he always played the piano, and Marie received a silver bell necklace that tinkled as she sang. In strutted O'Malley, following by his old friend Scat Cat and his band, the Alley Cats meowed. Welcome, said Madame, and Merry Christmas to you all. The band members sat down at the table. They were followed by a crowd of the stray cats who had saved Duchess and the kittens from being sent to Timbuktu. Madame rang for the butler. You may now bring in the roast goose, she smiled and added, but first, my guests must play for their supper. Scat Cat and his friends started with jingle bells. It was the jumpingest, jiving, it's, oh Jesus, jivingest, jingling that has ever jangled a Christmas day. Amidst all the merriment, O'Malley whispered to himself, now this is Christmas. And from the looks of things, nobody disagreed. I like that. I take it they're all gonna be based around Christmas stuff, so that's, it's really cool to see that. All right, so this one is gonna be interesting because like I said, I have no idea how big each of the uh, puzzles are going to be and I'm trying to find number one and I can't find it <laughs> one okay finally found it Jesus okay so they don't look like they're huge puzzles small pieces but not a huge puzzle so interesting um let's get cracking there's no picture to go off of so this should be this should be fun. All right, so this actually turned out a lot smaller, and I didn't film it because if I did that with all of them, it would take me forever to make this video. Uh, but it says the holidays are snow much fun. It's got all the guys on there sledding down a hill, well, goofy skiing. But I think what I'm gonna do is, um, cause I'd hate to see these go back in just little bags. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is, um, if I don't take a picture and store it with the picture, I do have a decent amount of glue for puzzles, so I may just, uh, this piece is going up a little bit, it must be something behind it. Um, I may just end up gluing the puzzle pieces and seeing how it looks after that. Uh, we'll see, but um, I will take care of that a little bit later. But now I need to uh, get ready and head to work. Uh, that took a little bit longer than I thought, so now I know going forward how much time to set aside for these, or I may just wait until I get home from work to do these just so I have time to do it and not rush. Uh, but yep, I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, sorry for the bright screen. I'll take that off real quick. Oh, that doesn't really help. Give me a dark screen. There we go. <laughs> uh, so what I'm doing right now is um, I'm finding a bunch of sites that have um, New Year's resolutions for gamers. I got some that I thought of and then uh, I got a list of uh, ones from different sites uh, that range anywhere from picking different genres and completing um, so many of them, uh, completing a backlog, completing um, one system. So I'm, I'm kind of just jotting them all down, brainstorming on which ones I think I would like to do. Uh, and then when I do my video where I'm reviewing the 40 games that I completed, which I did complete my 40th game, uh, so I, I beat that goal for 2021 with a few weeks to spare, of course. Uh, but I will go over that, those 40 games, and then I will go into what my new challenge is for the following year. There you go, look at that. 
and it worked out pretty well. It's got a little bit of a curve to it. That can be fixed just by, uh, I usually just put it upside down like that and put something heavy on top of it like two pieces of wood or a weight. Uh, so I have two pieces of wood that I'm probably just going to set it overnight and uh, do that. Now I just have to do the gluing to 24 more puzzles and uh, we'll have a work of art when we're done. But I am tired and I'm going to hit the hay. I worked on uh, a couple videos for YouTube um, tonight. One was the review of the 40 games that I completed. And then the other one had to do with a Lego build. So uh, those should hopefully be coming up pretty darn soon. Well, at least the Lego build is. I'm not sure how long the other one's going to take me. Uh, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. It is now the second. Um, you might be able to hear the sirens. They're actually super early. That's nuts. I've never heard them that early. It actually got pretty windy last night. You can... Um, I haven't put a cap over the vent yet for the, uh, where the vent is for the dryer, or if you had a dryer with a vent, um, so you can kind of, you can still hear the wind and rain and whatnot through there, and that was going pretty good last night, but, uh, I still got about a half hour before I have to go to work, so, uh, let's get cracking on the advent calendar. Two is a ship. I don't know whose ship that is. It can't be. I was gonna say, no. Whose ship is that? That looks so familiar. I'm having a brain fart right now, though. Okay, so I'm not gonna show building them every time, just because that would take way too much time. Um, all right, so I'm not gonna show building every single one of them because that would. Oh my god, that would take forever for a video. Each video would be like 15 minutes long. Uh, but yeah, not bad focus there you go uh not not bad it's a little uh, i think the wings are a little too much i don't know i'm gonna have to look at the photo again i know what ship this is but it, I, I just can't think of the name but it, i don't know it just seems like the wings may be out a little too far i'm gonna have to look at the picture again all right so a little stop in the video real quick this is eric from the future hello the books are taking up a solid amount of time i i love the disney books don't get me wrong uh they're cute little stories uh, they're a little on the kiddish side. Uh, it's more like something you would read for your, your kid, which which isn't bad. They still got the Disney magic to them and all that. But they do, for an advent calendar type thing, they take a decent amount of time to A, get through, and B, uh, edit afterwards. So I don't want to bog down an entire video with like 10 to 15 minutes of me just going through advent calendar stuff. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit, and in the rest of this video... And in the next video, I am going to tell you what the uh, what characters were in that book. May give you a little summary of the book. Uh, but uh, instead of doing that, I'm just going to say how I feel. Like a little summary about those characters. Or the story or the movies or something I like about those characters. Uh, so day two was Ariel's Christmas Under the Sea. I, let's see if I can get that to focus there. I am not a complete hater. Of the Little Mermaid. It's not a bad story by any means. It's Ariel wanting to celebrate Christmas the way humans do. The Little Mermaid to me is not, it's not one of my favorites, but I understand why it's a classic um, with a lot of people. I had a cousin who was really big into it. Um, I, as far as like the Kingdom Hearts video games, um, those were my least favorite levels out of the entire games, out of all the games. Um, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. It, it doesn't mean it's not. I, I, I hate it, because I definitely don't, um, but I don't know if I would, as, if we're talking just pure Disney classics, then yes, I would have to rate it within my top 10, um, but as far as like favorite Disney movies, no, I, I'm not even sure it would crack my top 20, to be honest, but that is going to do it for The Little Mermaid. Let me know what you guys think about The Little Mermaid down below. Okay, one is here. Two. And we got our last piece. There. Making it merry and bright. I like that one. Well, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's now much later in the day. Uh, finally got some time to relax and sit down and just chill and watch the football game. It's not a bad game. Dallas is beating the Saints right now 20-10 to 10, uh, with the f fourth quarter just starting, basically. It's like 14 minutes something. 
um, remaining. So the fourth quarter just started, and they still have some time to make a comeback, but the way it's going, I'm not sure if they're going to or not. At work, we're doing kind of like a competition to decorate each of our cubicles for Christmas, and I'm going with a Nightmare Before Christmas theme. I think I have a idea that I'm gonna run with where I got a bunch of uh, cardboard panels. I'll show a picture of those right now. Um, I've had these for a few years and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them, but I have a bunch of cardboard panels. I got some characters I'm gonna hang up at work. That's the uh, mayor from the movie. But I'm going to hang up these on the wall and then trace out the the hill from the movie. I'll show a picture of it right now so you guys can see it. That's a, the hill from the movie with the spiral on it. So that extends when they walk on it. Uh, I'm going to show that on the wall and do like a little scenery thing. And I'm going to have a whole bunch of lights and garland up in my cubicle. And I'm going to make it look festive. I was also talking to a kid that I work with. Uh, he actually gave me a few more ideas for the challenge for next year. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to putting that out there and telling you guys what my challenge is for next year. Uh, and I also want to um, give you guys some... I guess a challenge of your own come up with a challenge even if it's not for gaming like saying uh, if you're a movie buff watching a whole bunch of movies that you never watched before reading books that you never read before or never read before or um, doing something that you've never done before that you want to do more of or you want to set a record for uh, for yourself um, I, I challenge you guys to come up with a challenge for 2022 but I'm just gonna chill tonight I uh, put some laundry in I'm gonna watch the rest of the game uh, and just take some time and relax um we this weekend it's a pretty pretty light weekend i'm getting together at my parents place with mitchell we're gonna have we're gonna play some games um and just hang out uh i may take some video of that some of the games that we're playing some of the uh might maybe some commentary on them who knows um but yeah uh, other than that i will see you guys tomorrow morning for another advent calendar